What is going on guys? Yesterday video was super shit so we threw it in the bin. I spent all day yesterday trying to film a video. I filmed it like three times, but there was no, uh, I don't know, yesterday I just felt down. There's just a lot of negative stuff around this year, and, and uh, me facing financial problems, which aren't actually financial problems, they're just, I've run out of money to do things for my hobbies. Um, so don't worry, we're not struggling in any way. Uh, the kids are still getting food and they still get spoiled. It's just that I can't spend thousands of dollars on animals and things that benefit the animals like the animal room. But that is why we are setting up all of the tanks now. Um, for those of you who don't know that there was another rack that was across this window here. We pulled it out which allowed me to uh, use these two extra spaces. So the other night I put in those two tanks, we cleaned out that one and then yesterday in the video that I filmed we filled up these tanks, we put the heaters in them and we moved the sponge filters. So there's one in there, one in there, let me focus here. And there, because there was two in here, two in there, we just took one of them, moved them over here. One question I always get asked is why is there knives in your fish tanks? Now let me show you. There's actually one right next to it. Uh, except for these guys here. These guys are Bristol nose, but they are um, L144. They're lemon Bristol nose, so they're slightly. M they lean more towards the. Uh, L number side, which means that they don't particularly eat lots of veggies. They do love their wood and they love the meatier side of things. Uh, whereas the bristlenose, boo, absolutely destroy this. And then the one with all the bristlenose, I put this in last night, absolutely destroyed it. The knives, which used to be forks and other things to weigh them down. Um, are in there to hold down zucchini, uh, other vegetables, you just stab it on and away they go. So, um, no, that, that, it works. And these guys were very cheap from a shop and we just brought a buttload of them. And I think there is heaps of them stored up there somewhere. I guess there is other ways to do it. Um, when we first got into it, we used to lackey band um, things to rocks and stuff like that, but then you gotta fish out the lackey band and stuff like that It's super messy. You just throw the knife in there um, Usually you leave it for 24 ish hours and then take out whatever they don't eat. This guy is fanning chronically, so we'll um, We'll give them another maybe couple of hours and then we can come back and check on them <laughs> You know how I said that that guy there was spanning uh, hectically? Well, guess what? We already have bristle nose eggs. Now, I don't get it. Some people have problems breeding bristle nose. I have never had problems breeding bristle nose. Um, 
a lot of it may have to do with the, the way that the caves are set up or the fact that like there's a billion males in that tank at the moment um, I, so I'm actually really surprised that they bred but I have seemed to have a little bit more luck when there is two or three males to three or four females the only thing with that is you've got to keep an eye on them you have to have tank space these don't really have too much tank space um, and if you're doing like two female one male um, you have to have a smaller tank otherwise the male will just get exhausted bouncing between the two females because for those of you who don't know how bristle nose work i will give you a quick run through on how they breed and how who looks after the eggs and how they look after the eggs so the female is going to swim past the cave and the male has to lure her in and trap her in there basically that it sounds bad uh i think it might be a little bit more romantic than i'm explaining it or i mean i guess animals don't really have too much of a romantic life but uh she will lay her eggs the male will then fertilize the eggs and then the female leaves. The male will sit at the cave doing this for the next, <laughs> I can't remember how many days. He's just fanning little bits of water to make flow. It keeps the eggs from staying out of stagnant water. Now that becomes a big role in what your caves look like. Um, certain caves hold quite a large, what are you doing? Certain caves hold quite a large uh, volume of water in them and sometimes they can't move enough and you lose a lot of the eggs and they'll just eat the eggs. So, um, so caves definitely play a big part in it. So definitely get more than, you know, don't just get one, one type of cave. But if you are going to get one type of cave, uh, the best caves that you can go for are these terracotta D caves. But now, as you can see, I have more luck in those ones. I've had them breed in that one. I've had them breed in that one. These ones here are too big. Um, and mainly, these, this square one just here, I have heaps of luck with. These square ones, the slate square ones, work a little bit better for the L numbers. It really is playing around and seeing what your, uh, what your fish actually wants. So it may be completely different to some others. So circle through your types of caves. Now, I'm actually waiting for Ryan from Corinne Pet Central to get in some more caves and I'm gonna try out, I'm pretty sure they're handmade, uh, they look like wood caves, but they're like the terracotta caves. And um, as you can tell, I need a few caves because there is no caves in those ones, there is no caves in those ones. And when I got that tank, there is no caves in that one. So, um, yeah. <sighs> big things, big things. So, um, I think I'm actually gonna separate these eggs from this dude only because I don't know how much he's been eating uh, the tank yeah I don't know I can't get into that there is just so many bloody bristlenose in this tank and I don't want him to get into fights uh, him to leave to get some food and then somebody else go in there and eat them but there has been a few times that I have noticed one male was fanning the eggs and then the next second another male was found in the eggs I'm like you're not the dad or are you the dad and the other guy took over so sometimes they just they you know they can swap out and it's not a problem but you know I don't want to lose my first batch of bristle nose eggs <laughs> well it's definitely not my first batch of bristle nose eggs but it's the first batch of this rounds of bristle nose eggs um, if you're gonna take them out I I don't see where you can go wrong with these. They are a bit of a pain in the ass. They're the old um, egg tumblers. I do have a few of them lying around, brand new in packets, and I have a few open, because um, we brought heaps of them 
once upon a time because they came up for a couple of dollars cheaper and um, we just decided that we'd stack up on them and they work mint they've worked mint and I don't see why you'd need a change to anything super fancy these things do perfectly well so unfortunately uh, I've it's taken quite a while to get this point in the video so I'm actually going to cut this video off here and I will do another video tomorrow oh, well, I'll post it tomorrow I'll film it today whatever we're not gonna get fancy but I'll post a video tomorrow about how I strip caves and put them in the tumbler because yeah it was 20 something minute long video so we'll wrap the video up here guys and then join me tomorrow uh, to see how I do it and why I do it and um, yeah if you want to see that like and subscribe hit the notification bell that'll tell you when I upload videos sometimes they're useful sometimes they're useless whatever maybe one day one of my videos will help you out so take it easy guys stay awesome and remember you can't fail if you try see you later